So let's talk about the pre-diabetes epidemic. I wanted to bring some information to you since we see this pretty much every day, uh, multiple cases. Basically, normal blood sugar should run 70 to 130 in the average person. Um, as the insulin and glucagon system get a little deranged with poor lifestyle habits and sometimes genetic factors, uh, these sugars start to sway a little bit up and down. Um, some symptoms, they say the three P's, polyphagia, polydipsia, polyuria. That means craving food more than expected, craving tr liquids more than expected, and peeing more than expected. It's basically, you're not storing energy the way you used to. A lot of people are fatigued. Some people gain weight, some people lose weight. And a lot of people have hypoglycemia events where they get dizzy and lightheaded, sometimes sweaty, especially if they miss meals. So uh, basically, we said that normal sugar should run 70 to 130. Usually that correlates to a hemoglobin A1C of 5.7 or less. Diabetes, um, and we're talking about type two here, is once that A1C gets over to about 6.5%. That's kind of like the scorecard for the last three months. Um, we see people in this range, in the 5.7 to 6.5 range, um, having these symptoms. And what we found out is back in the day, we didn't really realize this intermediate state and a lot of people just ended up on insulin and it's kind of unfortunate. Now we know that if you identify these individuals early, you can intervene either with a combination of lifestyle modifications or uh, adding metformin on. Metformin has research that shows it kind of improves your, your overall metabolism and gives the pancreas a little break. And especially if you combine that with lifestyle mods, um, a lot of times you can undo this and prevent diabetes altogether. Um, it's worth noting if you're having these symptoms, it probably is a good move to get your A1C checked. Um, it could be a lot of other things as well, but I did want to bring this up to you guys. Um, a lot of times you can uh, undo this uh, pre-diabetic state with uh, intermittent fasting. There's a book called The Diabetes Code and um, they kind of talk about it. They are pretty aggressive with their intermittent fasting and it is a little bit of a tight slope because if your sugars are all over the place, sometimes you can go quite low. Um, one thing to note is if you're in this range, like I said, some people lose weight, some people gain weight, but if you are on the higher end of things, if you get this fixed, a lot of times you lose weight and it's pretty easy once once you get it figured out and get a good strategy in place. Um, that's really the tip of the iceberg. Just wanted to share that with you. We wanna prevent bad things like diabetes and if someone did pro progress that far, we would like to push it the opposite direction and get them back to the normal range. Um, Dr. John Sweetek from Sweetek Medical Center, like our Facebook page or uh, check out our website for more information and videos. Thank you. Have a good one.